from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a puzzle effect in Photoshop Elements, Elements 12. Now, this is a new feature of Photoshop Elements 12, and it, of course, could be used and overdone, as all effects can be overdone. And I'm just going to, before I start, I want to actually go to a layer, duplicate layer. I've actually got a design here, picture here. And I've duplicated that so you can see. And I'm going to apply the puzzle effect to this layer. Of course, I could create more than one layer and apply the puzzle effects to each of those layers in turn. So I'm just going to go to Guided. And I'm now going to go move that out of the way. Puzzle effect, it's just in this option here, in the photo play. And it comes up with a panel. And it gives you an option for small, medium, or large. And I'm just going to go for medium. And straight away, it's thinking about it. Yep, it's created a very uniform like puzzle. Now, it would have been nice if there was some variety in the puzzle, but you can't expect everything. Okay, so after that, I can actually select puzzle piece. And I'm just going to select one. But also, I can actually select multiple ones. So I can actually hold the shift key down, and you'll see a little plus appear. So I can actually go through, right, I'm just going to select those extract pieces and I can move those to different positions and I can rotate them as well I don't have to keep them like that also I can resize right. I'm not going to use the eraser tool don't really need that there's no uh, conti contiguous pieces contiguous pieces okay done that's it so once it's actually finished can now go back to expert and all you've got is layers basically that's it so you can actually now go to select all those I'm just going to select all those all those parts of the layer that uh, creates the jigsaw I can actually go to layer merge layers now you will notice that actually the background has been disabled so just gonna put that back to visible now I can go on the layer 4, I can actually just set different blending modes for the puzzle, puzzle pieces, and I'm going to go with that one, screen, and of course I can change the opacity as well. And actually some of them hardly make the actual jigsaw puzzle virtually disappear. So. Uh, Anyway, so at this point, of course, you can also apply effects to it as well. So you don't have to actually continue with the design you've got. You can actually go to, say, Gaussian Blur. Click OK. Right. Anyway, I hope this has been of interest at, uh, that you'll subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. It's always, uh, I'm always adding new tutorials every couple of days. So uh, thank you very much.